Let's take a closer look now. When someone is arrested for a crime in the U.S., the case can be far from closed. Courts in Arkansas and across the country have remained backed up from pandemic delays, meaning even when a suspect is caught, it could still be years before justice is served. T311 Sarah Hobakowitz shows us why your constitutional right to a speedy trial might not be as fast as you think and what's being done about it. A year and six months is not a speedy trial. A year and a half ago is when Marcy Welch lost her 27 year old son Brock. Never in my wildest nightmares did I imagine I would be sitting here talking about my son who having been murdered. Marcy says Brock was shot multiple times after giving a stranger a ride that night. Police arrested Emil McCoy weeks later, but it would be more than a year before a court closed the case. A lot of heartache, a lot of sadness, a lot of being stuck and not being able to move forward, a, a lot of cringing when the phone rings and maybe it's the court system. Brock's case would add to the nearly 14,000 criminal cases that prosecuting attorney Will Jones inherited when he took office in Pulaski County that year. Double the caseload before the pandemic closed courts for nearly two years. Everybody remembers what the pandemic was like and I think the judicial system suffered a great deal because of that and a lot of those families were caught up in that. A lot of families that were looking for justice and then really didn't have any hope for a long time. Jones says today his office has been able to close more than 4,000 cases in the last year and a half, but just about 10,000 are still waiting on a verdict, and that's not even counting juvenile court. I used to what I would say when a family came in, I would tell them, look, it's going to take about a year to get this case resolved. And now I tell them with the COVID backlog and all the numbers as high as they are, I tell them to be prepared for two years. It could take up to two years for you for us to get justice for you. And technically that timeline can still follow your constitutional right to a speedy trial. The general rules are we have a year to bring someone to trial from the date of arrest and that's a speedy trial rule. And if they're in custody, we have nine months to bring them to trial. Now there are things that can happen throughout the court process that can extend that time out. A process Marcy wasn't sure she could wait for much longer. So after more than a year, she approved of a plea deal. McCoy pleaded guilty to a first degree murder and received a 33 year sentence. I was up till two or three o'clock in the morning. Did I do the right thing? Should I have gone ahead and gone to trial? Was I selfishly saying I don't want to go through trial when my son experienced it? In Arkansas, even before the COVID backlog in 2019, two out of every three people detained in local jails had not been convicted of a crime. Now, families like Brock's want to see more action from the state. I think they need to look at some things and they need to say, how can we make this system better for the victim and the accused? Meanwhile, the prosecuting attorney's office works to catch up while still putting together a solid case. If we can get back to those pre COVID numbers, then I feel like we've got a fighting chance to get justice for families in a, in a shorter amount of time. In an effort to catch up to pre COVID numbers, Jones says his office is working to see which cases can be solved by a plea agreement like Brock's to speed up the process. Whether a suspect stays in custody during a trial or is out on bond and for how much is up to the individual judges in each county.